Hello and welcome everybody, and this is a new first for me, as I've never done one of these sorts of videos before. And here I am to showcase my route of 1950s East Anglia. And this is Norwich City. Throughout this video, I'll try my very best to explain as much as I can about all the work I've done so far and what I intend to try and do with the route as I go along. So far, as you can see, I've got basic elements of scenery, uh, track work, signalling are in position and it's, I'll admit, it's taken quite some time. I've had to start this again about maybe three or four times as I wouldn't say a perfectionist as such but partly through the constant upgrading of train simulator itself has on occasion hindered progress but as you can see I'm still making amends and trying to improve some of the bits and pieces I have done already there is I would say not a great deal of Norwich City if that makes sense it's more of a freight yard than any other although there is a station present unfortunately you can blame the Germans for that they bombed the station out during the Second World War so there's nothing much left of it by 1950 apart from a rather rubbish porter cabin style unit at the end of the platform small section of awning but that said, I still think this makes for a very different and interesting thing to recreate. And uh, as you can see, some some different signalling to possibly what you would expect. I know, um, obviously, as everyone may be well aware, the MGN is well known for its somersault type signals. However, I have not been able to see anyone with a model or version of them available, so I've had to use these rather good lower quadrant design signals, which to me actually behave and work in a very good manner, and they're very nicely modelled as well. As you can see, I've itemed a rolling stock in position, more for display purposes. And for the eagle-eyed out of all of you, that is indeed a J15. However, it is not my model, and it was from the Cambridgeshire Lines route pack. Now, that model was donated to the creators of Cambridgeshire Lines, Neil Cunningham and Ruth Ivmy Cook. I unfortunately can't remember exactly who they said it came from. They did tell me. Um, it's quite a nice little model although it's not as highly detailed as what you'd normally expect nowadays. Um, sadly though, it doesn't have a realistic sound set and just runs with the default Black 5 sounds. But, you could do a lot worse, that I am certain. Um, as you can see though, not much more in the way of scenery, just trees at the present moment. I have started putting in a few houses and odd few items in here and there. And a key position or feature up at this end on the way out naturally would be the A-frame bridge. However, I for one have no skill or ability at doing anything with 3D modelling software. So at present it is something of a generic bridge I'm afraid. And uh, just in case you could hear a rumbling over the top of me in the background... I do live next to the Great Eastern Main Line, so don't be surprised if there's a little bit of air pollution as a 66, 70 or a dusty bin goes by. Um, and this is more or less touches up on uh, Norwich City at the present moment. Scenery I've ex slightly experimented with, but haven't really developed much more while I try and extend the route outwards from other parts. And next up is Hellesden. 
and this is the approach into towards the station again with and what will be another A-frame bridge. I've experimented a little bit with some plant life around this area as well, but again the road bridge over the river and over the railway will will eventually be replaced by the correct models that should be there. Um, there's not much of Hellesden for those who know it. It's only a small single platform station. Um, don't ask why the 08's in there. I don't know. I, I can't honestly remember why I put that there. I know that used it for something. Um, there's not much to Hellesden station itself. It's quite basic. The generic sort of design MGN station building. Another asset which I'll have to create. But... For the time being, I like to think that the uh, default assets don't make too bad a representation of it. And uh, it's quite a pleasant little station actually. Even though there's a lot more of the key features to be added, like the tank traps as you go further out. And this is Drayton. Well, the approach to it anyway. The uh, steep, em steep embankment and climb up towards the station from the south, going over the river, which again will be another A-frame bridge, in towards the station, which I have is a little difficult to represent in the way that I would like. Some of the scenic features are more awkward to put together. Well, at least from what I've used. Um, obviously, you have to bridge over the road the signal box will have to be put in by original model as unfortunately none of the default ones i don't think will ever represent it well enough some of the uh, key station features are in position and the correct in arm signal for the home or starter signal at any rate is in position again another one of the lower quadrant signals these coincidentally are available on the UK train sim site. They are more well, work made by somebody called Anthony Brailsford. Um you should be able to find them quite easily. He's made a lower quadrant and upper quadrant set. Although the upper quadrant set are for the southern region. Although I have still used those as well in my route. Now as you can see you've got some of the track working position in the goods yard, one of the uh, buildings from Cam's Lines, one of their goods sheds is in, as uh, I was given kind permission by the creators to be able to use some of their assets for the time being. Um, this I'm not too sure about, this cutting. Um, I know there's a cutting on the actual route itself as you leave the station, but I'm not sure how well it's represented, so some opinions from you guys would be really good with that if you could. And this is Atlebridge, a very much a wayward station in the middle of the sticks. There's not going to be a lot of scenic detail really here to see. You're mainly surrounded by fields. Um, you do have the station buildings in position. There's basic signalling and the sidings in the goods yard. But other than that, it really will be just basic items like hedges and fencing. Just the small items just to bring it to life. And here we are on the outskirts of Lenwade. These two bridges, if you've ever walked the Marriott's Way, you will know very well. The first is over, well, what is a small access path, I think. It looked, well, it looked more like a pond at the time um, when I visited. And this bridge is over the main river Wensum. Then going back in towards Lenwade, of course, you have the concrete works. Now I know this, a lot of people will know this, that it was that has been there for a very long time making prefabricated items since 1950 and provided a great deal of traffic to the railway itself, which is why this section of the branch stayed on as long as it did, surprisingly enough. Um, now, in respects with signalling and track work around some of this bit, 
I don't expect it to be necessarily completely correct. I'm sure someone will tell me I've got something out of place, which will always be helpful to know. Um, but in respects with the signalling, I know it's definitely not correct. Because no matter how many pictures and books I've looked through, none of them show some of the signals in there. It's literally just to make the signalling work along with the sidings that are there. The trouble was, with all the, the multiple number of track plans for the area, unfortunately, there isn't a clear-cut one that shows everything as it was in 1950, or roughly about then. The earliest one I've got is about 1930, and unfortunately that sting still includes a few other sidings which are up on here on the right, just on the approach to the station, and what was, well, stated on the map as a ballast pit at the time. Whether, which you can see by the decals I still have on the ground at the moment are currently filled with water. So that must be true to what the map has stated was there, but whether the actual sidings themselves were still there in 1950, I don't really know. There's not a clear enough map to indicate whether there was or wasn't. Um, the concrete works themselves will require individual assets to bring that to life as unfortunately as you can tell at the moment I have only got rather rubbish generic sh metal sheds there at the moment just to represent it again as we approach Lenwade station itself we have a bit of a mixture of signalling the um, the ground signals are also included with the lower quadrants and the upper quadrant signal packs as well just for your information and another little detail that I rather liked when I saw it on the Cambridge Airlines route was the point rodding, as you can see at the bottom there. Now, I've experimented with this a little bit um, to see how it looked. I don't think it looks too bad, but it would be very tedious, I think, to install. You can have a maximum of up to five rods in one section, well, allowable as a... Um, like a track asset if you will or road um, again I have the generic station building position and another one of the cams lines assets as in one of their signal boxes um, as you will obviously know level crossings missing completely um, that is another model I would like to get made if I could otherwise I will have to settle with Chaddock Engineering's signaling not signally level crossing model sorry although that is a very pleasant model in itself i'd much rather try and go with an mgn style one if i can now the bridge over the river stroke stream at ellen wade i know i will have to produce a separate asset for this as no doubt this doesn't look anywhere near like the real thing and also I'm pretty certain, confirm with me if you can, that the actual height of the water itself is far too low. It should be a bit higher. It should be, I believe, a lot more shallower than that from the pictures I took when I was on the Marriott's Way itself. And this is Whitwell and Reapham. Well, the approach at any rate. It is... I think quite a nice little station now, especially since the uh, new group have gone in and done a vast degree of restoration. As you can see though, I'm far from reaching anywhere near the efforts that they have. I've got all the track in position around the goods yard. I've got a generic signal box model from the Isle of Wight route. Um, the station building is as has been on all the others with the default assets and the signalling the same as previous the only thing that I will have to do a little bit of work on will be the scenic side of it on this side as you can see there's a road that runs more or less parallel with a platform at lower level I will have to put in a different piece of embankment to cover this as when you try to use your normal terraforming items in the editor they, well, they, 
I can't get to grips with allowing them to cover only the smallest area that I would like it to cover. It always extends or covers more than I would like. So, as for the time being, that is how it shall remain until I get round to sorting it out while I extend other sections of the route. But, that said, I think it provides quite a nice representation for the time being of what the station is like. I still have yet to put any trees or plants in position, which hopefully, when they are, will bring it to life a bit more, I think. And this is Guestwick. Obviously, at the present moment, still I haven't got any level crossings put in position. That will happen in the not too distant future. Um, I am trying my best to cover all those basic items on the main route as I can. Um, I missed these out more in my haste to try and get the route extended all the way down into Norwich City from Melton Constable, having started round from Norwich Thorpe to begin with. The basic station building and signal box are in place representing what the station was like um, again the same with the signaling and another level crossing still missing at this end but hopefully not for much longer and this is Hindolvestone another little wayward station similar to that of Guestwick and Attlebridge um, on this occasion though I have actually remembered to put in the level crossing even though this one is static um, with also a signal box another one of the cams lines assets and uh, the basic or generic default um, buildings again representing the main station building the signalling again is still the London Northwestern lower quadrant signals and there isn't a lot to be done here scenically wise it's only merely vegetation and one or two small buildings from the outlying parts of the village itself that are around the station other than that going in this direction towards Melton Constable you will have something of a forest that will need to be put in and some fields further north but as again, in respects with uh, scenic wise, it's quite basic and well, I say rather boring as well, to be honest. And finally, we reach Melton Constable. Quite a large station, naturally, along with the main works of the MGN. It took quite a significant amount of time to try and get it right, or at least, I say, get it right, to look right, to look the part. It has had a fair bit more of effort put into it in regards with scenic items, as you can well see, with some of the housing and some of the works buildings represented. Um, the station buildings themselves are only of default assets again. The canopy is from the London to Brighton route. Um, is the only one that there was that actually seemed to fit the profile of the actual canopy of the station itself and this again there was a gas works but that's just used the default model that was available for that and that direction is towards Aylsham which I'll show you in a future video of which there is not a lot going that way scenic wise it is rather barren until you actually reach Alsham itself. Um, but for the time being, let's focus on Melton Constable itself. Now, I do have another type of signalling there. I can't remember whose assets they were. But there were slight limitations with the assets that I had available. And they seemed to suit better for the area in the station. Here is the loco maintenance area. Three road engine shed with a road either side and the turntable. I don't quite know why there's so much traffic generated in that corner. I'll have to sort that section of road out a bit later. 
um, but that small building at the bottom was for the private entrance for a landlord of which I cannot remember the name of um, and that small bit of platform we just flew over the top of was for the coaling stage this is a small good shed on this side of the line there was a quirky little feature here where there was a Great Northern Somersault signal which could be put into the on and off position from within the goods shed itself to control shunting movements past the actual goods shed. Now, for those who go question why have you got the number for an IVER on the front of a standard four? Well, for the time being, the standard fours by digital traction are supplementing for the lack of an IVER four, which at the moment is being sorted out by young Tom from TAA Developments who is uh, making one for Steam Sound Supreme's Stainmore route project which I am very much eagerly awaiting getting my hands on it if any of you are also that should be a very nice route indeed not along with that but the also the rebuilt Scott as well that would be rather nice now this is the junction facing west the lines to the top left heading round towards South Lynn and the lines going off to the right towards Holt, Sheringham and Cromer this wasn't particularly easy to represent this cutting because it starts off relatively deep but shallows out very quickly and um, getting the height right on one side and then them not being right on the other was a little bit of a problem to begin with that with also getting the bridge in the correct position but once that was done it looked quite good um, I don't know what you think of it I think I think it represents that section of the station rather well um, now there I even mention it boohoo those suburbans down the bottom there they are IHH stock Yes or no, they will be removed and dinged permanently. They are, what would I say, surplus to requirements and crap. The doors won't open. What kind of use is that for loading passengers? Um, anyway, this is the overall stance of Melton Constable thus far. Um, I haven't gone into too much into doing the village itself other than one or two of the roads. And hopefully some more custom assets will help to ensure it looks the part. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.